Let's talk about Soaker Saturday. Oh. So much rain out there. We have more rain on the way. Amber Lee, she's here to track that forecast. It, it was never ending, Amber. Right. So we had some really strong conditions for about a couple of hours, especially in the afternoon for LA and Ventura County. That very same rain band is sitting right over Orange County and also the Inland Empire as we speak. So basically, we have this powerful storm that's centered off Northern California that's driving the strong cold front across the region. You can see right now, we're getting a bit of a break for LA and Ventura County. And then with this system, Heavy rain and strong winds. So you can see that this strong outer band is still sitting right over the Inland Empire and also over Orange County. But we're going to start to see that rain intensity pick up again. Nothing like what we saw over the afternoon, but it's definitely going to pick up once we head into the overnight hour. So here's a look at our, our preliminary rain totals. And because the system is still sitting over at the Inland Empire and Orange County, we don't have rain total preliminary numbers for them just yet. But Chileo, which is up in the Angeles National Forest, up the two freeways, saw just under six inches of rain. Pasadena just over over three inches, Woodland Hills over two and a half inches, Agora Hills just over two inches, same with Beverly Hills, and then Whittier just over an inch and a half of rain. We still have watches, we still have warnings all in place. You can see it is lit up. We have a lot of colors here. So we had the flash flood watch up until about 4 a.m. on Sunday for LA and Ventura County, and then it stays up until about midnight for portions of Riverside County. And then you can see up in the mountains, we're expecting more snow from the system. So snow levels expected to get down to as low as 5,000 feet tonight in some spots. Spots. And then we also have some really strong winds picking up through the Antelope Valley and also through the Apple and Lucerne Valley. So storm number two, this is the one that we talked about since uh, last week, saying that this was going to provide us with some of the intense and heavy rain, and that's exactly what it did. Storm number three right behind it should be moving in by late tomorrow night and staying with us till Monday and also Tuesday. The rain intensity probably not as bad as what we saw this afternoon, but it's definitely going to bring us these lingering showers as we head into the beginning of the week, and then we finally start to dry up once we head into Wednesday. So from now until Tuesday, if you can hold off, we're still dealing with the lingering showers and it's going to stay wet up until about the middle of the week. Back to you guys.